day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a bit of a comparison video between Linux Mint 20.2 on the left and Linux Mint 20.3 beta release on the right. Now these are actually both XFCE desktop environments, so a, a light to mid-weight desktop environment there, perhaps for older hardware, an older laptop, netbook, that sort of thing, kind of what it might be considered to be uh, designed for. Now, first of all, uh, there's very few differences uh, amongst these two here, in fact. So the notifications menu, the start bar, all the applications looking fairly identical. Uh, I can't see anything a little bit different there. The context menu on the, uh, the desktop, uh, I guess just the desktop itself, all the same. Right click, open terminal. That makes me pretty happy on this channel. Uh, if we have a just a little brief look at the file explorer, see what's going on there as well. So we can see almost identical. In fact, even the version in is identical, which is strange because beta releases are usually lock in new versions. So nothing really different to speak of there. Again, right click, uh, open terminal. That's actually what makes me very happy, repeating myself now. But uh, let's look a little bit under the hood and see what's going on. So as expected, we've got a um, same kernel again, in fact. So uh, it's uh, what you could say is a, perhaps a more stable kernel. It is actually running off the long-term service release of Ubuntu. So a bit of stability there, that's what they're all about. But you've got uh, the, I guess one thing I'll say about the XFCE desktop environment is it, it's clearly very uh, Linux Mint-esque, the way that it looks like the, the Cinnamon desktop environment that would be the default DE for, for uh, Linux uh, Mint you know, setups there. But hey, is what it is. Now, if we were to move across, uh, just look even further under the hood and see what's going on with, say, the RAM and CPU usage, this is where it doesn't get too interesting as well. So CPU idling along, nice and nice. Uh, but uh, the RAM, so about 490 megabytes of RAM for the existing version of Linux Mint 20.2. And let's call it the upcoming, which is the beta release 20.3 about 505 megabytes of RAM, so about 15 megabytes more, perhaps, uh, you can say there, but uh, really insignificant, uh, not a real statistical finding there at all. But that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, just wanted to show you some of the similarities and differences, well, they're really mostly similarities, uh, amongst these two uh, operating systems, the current and the upcoming release, which will be uh, really truly available for, for download and really daily driver use in about January time. It's hard to say exactly when, but thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.